The city leader is making a new push to prevent another tragedy like last year's deadly ghost ship fire. This after a new report from the Bay Area News Group shows that up to 80% of all buildings firefighters flagged as hazardous were never even inspected. KBX 5's Katie Nielsen is live in Oakland to explain what's being done. Hey, Katie. We're here at the scene of the ghost ship fire, and people who live in the Fruitvale District say there are all kinds of problems that are caused by the city not acting when they get reports of unsafe living conditions. This is the, the view of the fire from my next door neighbor's back deck. Jose Dorado owns an accounting business on Fruitvale Avenue and says no matter how many times he complains to the city about problems at some of the neighboring buildings, nothing changes. Kids, fires, um, you know, uh, illegal activities, blight. That's why the city council member for this area, Noel Gallo, is stepping in to propose a new solution no. to the problem no, the, the city fire. still hasn't addressed. We're not communicating with each other, and we learn from ghost ship that the fire is not talking to the police, the police not talking to the building, but yet we're all there. The ghost ship fire started December 2nd during a party at the warehouse that was converted into a residential space. It claimed the lives of 36 people. Records show the illegal living space had never been inspected, even though fire department personnel had been inside. Gallo says the solution is simple. Oakland should contract with private inspectors to help with those inspections until the city can hire and train the inspectors they need. They could join us immediately to investigate your house and hold you accountable and responsible before I lose a child, a family, or have another fire. Gallo says in the budget the city council approved just a few weeks ago, they'll double the number of city inspectors from 6 to 12, but it could take a year or more to get those people hired and trained. He says until that happens, the proposed private inspectors could follow up on hundreds of reports made by firefighters about unsafe living conditions in homes and apartment buildings, where right now no one is forcing landlords to make the necessary safety upgrades or changes. And we know what the rules are, but I continue to take a shortcut because I know you're not going to enforce it. We reached out to the Oakland Fire Department to get a comment from their representatives, and unfortunately, none of them were available. Reporting live in Oakland, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.